What's up, y'all? It's your boy Extreme Catfishing here. I'm down here in Audenaw, South Carolina. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. At the Buck Hall Trailhead of the Audenaw Passage Trail. Uh, trailhead for the Palmetto Trail down here. And Charleston area is basically what this is. And I'm just going to kind of show y'all guys what's uh, starting off here. Well, all the take ones are gone. <laughs> Good thing I brought my own map. And, uh, well... We just do one double up check here. All right, everything looks good. Make sure the car was locked, and uh, we we're on the trail, guys. So this is supposed to be about a six, six mile, six and a half mile trail. It has a conjunct, it junctions up with uh, the Swamp Fox Trail, and. Uh, just gonna do a little walking around and kind of let you know what's up. Conjunctions with the Swamp Fox Trail, um, that goes to 42 miles. This one's only six and a half. So, but uh, just wanted to kind of show you that, and uh, we'll see how much of this is actually boardwalk. And uh, I'll uh, be back with y'all guys soon. Alright guys, so the uh, boardwalk ends here. These are the trail markers I'm going by, the white blazes here. And it uh, picks up here. And what's interesting is it picks up right over here. Comes out here. Ah, there it is. Picks up over here. I don't know where that guy's going. But the trail's right here. That picks up here. That was the guy that was ahead of me, so. <clears throat> There's our white blaze, so we know we're on the right path here. This is the Audenaw Passage, about six miles. I actually was going to go to the opposite end, um, mostly because of the fee here. We'll see if that makes a difference. Um, but uh, everything's good. The trail looks really nice. Looks like it's pretty much well kept. And uh, we did get a little rain yesterday, so we'll see how that works out. <clears throat> see if there's any flooding here that would cause me to reroute the trip or cancel the trip altogether. Um, but we'll see. All right, guys. I uh, shall see y'all guys in a little bit when something cool abrases itself. <laughs> All right, guys. Check this out, guys. This is something cool. I was, I was on the trail, still at the beginning part of it, and it kind of veers off, and I wanted to make sure this wasn't part of the trail. But this is beautiful swamp area. Look out here. I mean, that's all swamp. Look down there. That's water. Filling with tadpoles and all kind of good stuff down there. I mean, this is beautiful out here. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, I'm going to hit back the trail here and uh, keep rolling. I think this is one of the little, it's another view right there. One of the, uh, the trails within the little park campsites. Alright, guys. Another interesting thing I've seen here, I've taken some pictures of these. Look at this, guys. This uh, framing right here in the actual tr trail. I'm assuming this area probably gets flooded somewhat. So what they do is they put this down to help probably with uh, flooding and uh, kind of... I guess keep this from actually being like water washed away so you wouldn't know it was the actual trail. Cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. See a car over there? That's actually the campground. I pulled in there first. A little creek down there. Um, but yeah, awesomeness. So you see now, this actually picks up down the trail here 
into a sanded area well not a sandy area to a, a lush green area here so uh see y'all guys in a little bit uh check out this flower this is pretty real nice coolish man see y'all guys in a little bit all right guys another turn here as you can see palmetto trail is that way not sure what that is but I know I'm on the right track because there's my white blazes lead me off to my trail I just passed uh, two folks and look like two Labrador retrievers golden retrievers the, the, the golden retrievers came out first kind of freaked me out because I didn't know if these were wild dogs I was like oh crap this is a nice way to start a start a trail but um their owners came right behind them so and I haven't seen anything that says dogs need to be on their loose here out here on this trail so uh yeah I guess that's something I got to look out for but uh just give you an idea of what's surrounding me here um I think this is Francis Marion part of Francis Marion if not incorrect I may be wrong I may have not gotten that far yet but uh awesome stuff out here man White blazes keep me on the trail. All right, guys. All right, guys, coming up on another bridge here. This is uh, basically telling you to stay on the trail, which is what I do. <coughs> yeah, right. Okay, um, <laughs> coming down to this bridge here, another little creek of sorts here. As you can see, and here, as you can see, real pretty out here. Um, okay. Yep, just wanted to show y'all guys that. All right. All right, guys. I've come to another section here where I have to cross the road basically all these signs are just telling me to stay on the road on the trail because it's private property and it looks like this is a dirt road and if I'm not incorrect the dirt road that I'm currently passing let's check out the map here real quick is uh, might be Reverend Perry Road Yes, yeah, Reverend Perry Road. It's a private road, which is why they tell you to stay on the trail. Yeah, so uh, we'll be going that way, and I won't be going that way. And I just came from that way. I'll be going this way because not only there are the trail sign right there, it says I'm going in the right direction. <clears throat> stop signs just make sure you don't get ran over when you come out here same signs on the other side is there Let's see if I can get you a picture of those basically telling you to stay on the trail no trespassing type deal a lot of these big ant mounds here a lot of there's probably major ants in there so that goes out to a road out that way and uh it comes over here all right guys looks like we got a white marker here so we know we're on the right path see you in a bit hi right, guys that's where I came from and it kind of opens up comes out of the woods and opens up right here Going along the power line again. And uh, looks like it turns off back into the woods again. These tracks right here. And these are, I guess, to tell you that you're on the right trail in addition to the other stuff. Like I said, it probably floods out here pretty well when it rains. We're in Charleston, so it does rain a lot. Mud puddle there. And, uh, this tells me that this is the trail 
But if we go this way, see there's a white marker there on that tree right there. But this breaks off into the woods here, but I don't even see a, a blaze or anything that would tell me otherwise. Yeah, see, there's no blazes here. Okay, it just loops. Yeah, it just loops. So, we'll go this way. Even though the tracks tell us that way, but there's a the marker, and this actually loops out here. Yeah, I think it comes out right here, which is where that one came from. Okay, we're good. There's my blade, blade so I'm on the right track here. And it kind of diverts you off. You gotta keep on your toes with this. <clears throat> kind of splits right here. And it joins back, so. All right, guys, catch you later. Y'all guys hear that? I'm in another wooded part of the trail, and I don't know if those are casetas or, I can't remember the name of those bugs, but they're calming down now. I must, have, must be passing them. Or oh, they must be alerting other bugs that I'm on the trail. I just thought I might let y'all hear that. It's kind of cool out here. If you were a scary type person, that would probably creep you out. Especially at night time. So far, there you go again. You hear them? That is cool. It's like they're warning the forest that I'm coming. That's awesome. I tell you, man. They marked this trail real well, too. I mean, every few, I don't know, 20, 25 feet, <clears throat> there's a marker that tells you that basically you're on the trail. And the trail is kept real well, as you can see. So. Sounds like water. Anyway. Alright guys. Alright guys. I just want to show you this trail goes along the swamp marsh here. I don't know if you can see it, but everything out there is swamp marsh. I mean it goes right alongside of it. So we're going to go up a little bit on the trail and see if we can uh, come along an open portion to kind of give you a better look at the marsh out here. Looks like we got an opportunity that up here. Look, you can probably go down to it. I wouldn't want to because, you know, gators is just, oh man, this is beautiful out here. Look at this. Let's see if I can get up here and uh, get a nice shot of it. I mean, look at that. And you just go right on down there and you're in the marsh. Beautiful out there. Let's see if we can't get another view. Oh, it's an open view up here. Beautiful with a bridge. Oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. There's a bridge. This may be the first bridge they were speaking of. Um, Let's see, this is a two and a half mark, and according to my map,
Yeah, this is about the first bridge. This must be the one that they're talking about here. I mean, but oh, look at this. I want you to see this. It's like there's an opening for it here, so you can actually see it. But here's the bridge. And they got a little walkway down here. Be careful. I don't want to get ambushed. Oh, check it out. Cactus. Cactus trees out here. You'd have never expect that out here in the marsh. But look at this. This is beautiful. Marshland. Wow. Man, I'm sorry. But this is just awesome out here, dude. Absolutely awesome. Beautiful. All right, guys. Let me take some photos of this and I'll see you on a little bit. All right, guys. Still on the marsh side here. I'm going to show you this. The, these guys that I keep showing y'all about, this is probably the good description of why they have these. This is a uh, some wood that goes across this area right here. Because apparently what happens, and you can tell by the mud right here, it floods right here. And that would make sense. It floods right here because it looks like there's a canal that runs right through here. But if you're doing the trail, you will come along this guy, which is uh, very sturdy. And pick right back up on the trail here. So that's kind of neat. And we got another bridge here. Bridge number five, I believe. It's a helicopter. Yep, that's a helicopter. This is uh, bridge number five here. Oh man, beautiful, beautiful. Another open shot of the marsh. There's that helicopter right there. Open shot of the marsh here. Gator Century, more than likely. Wonderful, beautiful, guys. And it even opens up right out here all right guys still going along the marsh here opened up here a little bit <clears throat> there's a lot of light coming in which tells me that it opens up to the marsh up here or that there's another bridge heard a little rattle in the bushes there it kind of brought me back to life that snakes are a really big viable thing out here and I still have to be about my wits. <clears throat> Haven't ran into a snake yet. and <sighs> Looking for the exciting day where I can view him from a distance. Don't exactly want to walk up on him in surprise. Either me or him. Wow. See it opens up right there. See if I can zoom in there wow guys check that out isn't that beautiful wow kind of opens out here again to this little spot which is probably an area that they put their boats in at Oh, wait a minute. No, that can't be. No, I was right. That can't be because it ain't. <laughs> I thought the trail went that way. I was like, you got to be kidding me. No, it goes that way. But that's kind of like a put-in part, I guess, for uh, boats there. Oh, there's a, there's a booth here. Coolish. So you can actually sit here and rest for a little bit. Awesomeness. This kind of goes out to the water. I think that's more of a gator path than anything else. Oh, it's just beautiful out here. Alright. Let me get some photos and mark this on the GPS, guys, and I'll be uh be back with you in just a little bit.
pick up the lizard. See him right there. Look, this bridge kind of opens up. So I think this is the first bridge on the map, actually. All this marshland here. It zoomed all the way out. So yeah, cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. Nice breeze out here. All right, let me get rolling. All right, guys. Apparently, I'm still back along the marsh. It went into the woods for a little bit, and then it dumped back off into the marsh. I just want to show you this, man. I mean, it's it's beautiful out here. Look at that. That's just marsh. Let's go up the trail a little bit. Let's see if uh, see if we can't run into another open spot. I know there is. I mean, it's really cool out here today. I mean, it's a breezy 70. A lot of these huge pine trees here, uh, palmetto trees, as other people call them. I mean, the palmetto trees are all over these woods here. <clears throat> So I know I'm on the right track. There he goes again. Down tree right there. But it just opens up to the marsh here. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful out here. Let's go down a little bit. It opens up a little more out here. So I'm just going to see if I can back off a little bit here and kind of give you the view here. I mean, this is marshland. You see this kind of stuff from the interstate. I do, anyway. I've never been this close to marshland. This is a new experience to me. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful out here. Alright, guys. I think it says bridge number six or number five. I forget. But, uh, I think it's the second bridge on the actual map. I mean, this is just marsh. You can't really see the water, and if you do see the water, it's mud. I mean, it's marsh as far as that way. And it's marsh all the way out there. I mean, this is just open and beautiful. This is like untouched out here. in a hot minute I bet cool oh it's beautiful out here so this is the second bridge Let me... that. so the second bridge Third bridge this is. So. Yep. Third bridge. And uh real beautiful out here. Alright, let me get some photographs of this. Alright guys. Kinda lost track here on which bridges I am. I think this is bridge three. Just gonna give you a little look at that. Uh, here's the next bridge up here. Because they have bridges that are not actually marked. Alright, this one says the Time Warner Bridge. Those are pretty flowers. Well, oh, pretty. Yeah, so this is the, the Time Warner Bridge here. Apparently built by Time Warner. And I'm sure at some point this is extremely, 
extremely flooded during marsh. But let's just look over the edge here. So like steps, you can come down to this guy. Oh, the crabs! The crabs! And I can't get down there. Oh man. I don't know if y'all guys can see this or not. Let's see if I can zoom in. See anything moving down there? Those are crabs. Lots of them. Wow. Same deal on this side over here. Crabs. Beautiful out here, man. I'm telling you, it's just beautiful. I guess it's like a little floodplain there. A lot of crabs down there. Again, let's see if I can zoom in so you can see them. See anything moving down there? Those are crabs. That's just awesome. Awesomeness. I'm loving this place. Best bridge so far. Guys, check this out. Check out all these little guys. These are crabs. Crabs, little baby crabs moving everywhere. Just look at them scatter. Wow, that's a lot of crabs. Lots of crabs. Woo! Woo! You see a lot of them here. They're just scattering. They're everywhere. That's awesome.